Hello, welcome. Uh, read the problem, give it a shot, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so before we even do this, I just want to apologize on behalf of all people who enjoy doing math everywhere. I find this problem to be simply the worst. And I'm not trying to judge someone here. I think they just they tried to insert some context right here, but it's uh, horrifically confusing, right? So what am I talking about? Well, let's read it. The probability that a resident of a housing community opposes spending money for community improvement. Okay, Oof. okay. so there's this one class of, of person, so this is a probability. We're going to look at a resident that opposes plumbing issues. So I'm going to call that R-O-P, resident who opposes pump plumbing issues. And the probability of that happening, it says, is 0.8. Ugh. Okay, then the probability that a resident favors spending money on improving walkways, so we're talking about walkways now, not plumbing, given that the resident, okay, so let's, let's abbreviate this, spending money on improving walkways. So I'm going to say the resident, okay, I'm going to put everything in here because I don't really know, I'm only halfway through the problem, there's all these things to keep track of, so I'm just going to keep track of as much as I can, the resident that favors walkways, and I saw a given that, so this is a conditional probability, given that the resident opposes spending money on plumbing issues. So given that they are ROP, resident opposes spending money on plumbing, is 0 0.85. Determine the probability that a randomly selected resident opposes spending money on plumbing issues. Okay, so we want to find out what's the probability that you are a resident that opposes spending money on plumbing issues and favors, okay, and favors spending money on walkways. That's my RFW, resident favors walkways. So whew, we got through the problem. We kept up with all of the context here. Now, what do we do? <laughs> well, in all, all of this stuff here, um, Okay, so sorry. I um, in all of this stuff here, uh, what we you might notice is that there's a nice definition we can use in probability. The probability of A happening, some event. So let's simplify our life right now. Let's call this A. The probability of A, the first event, times the probability of B, given that A has happened. And that's what we have here: the probability that they favor a walkway, given that they oppose plumbing. B given A. It must equal the probability of A and B. This is true whether the events are independent or not. So this is true for independent and dependent events. Independent events where the one occurring impacts the probability of one event occurring does not impact the probability of another. That's an independent scenario. Or dependent where one event occurring first will impact the probability of the second happening. So either way, it turns out that if you know the probability of A, and you multiply it by the probability of B, given that A has happened first, you get their intersection. And that's what we have here. So in other words, all of this comes down to just multiplying 0.8, that's the probability of them opposing plumbing, times 0 0.85, that they favor walkways, given that they oppose plumbing. And that will be the intersection that both happen. And that's a, you can pull a calculator, that's about 0 0.68. All right, hope this helps.